They're cold, cold day here in March. We're working some horses. And we've got a new one in here that he's pretty green. And he hasn't come from our program, so a lot of stuff that we do probably isn't the same thing that, that you know, that he's, that that's been done to him. But, but it wouldn't matter. Uh, the working them on the ground, the getting control of their feet, we are gonna go through on everything we get in here. Because it's something that we wanna have on our horses to where when you catch them up, maybe they've had some time off. My groundwork is all about riding them. It's not about tricks, it's about getting control of their feet. So if you take a look over here, Alex is working this horse around. She's got him in. He's a little cold back this morning. <sighs> she's gonna move him around. And as she's doing this right now, she's asking him to step off to her left, but he doesn't understand. So what she did is she just applied pressure. She, with her left hand, she showed the horse the direction that she wants him to go and applied pressure until he found it. As soon as he found the left, she released the pressure. Now he's stepping around to the right. She's looking for this horse to fit the circle. So what I mean by that is the circle that that horse is in right now is maybe like 20 feet. He sh his body should, should be shaped to it, okay? There's got to be a curvature in his body. A horse that's bothered is not going to allow his body to get curved like that. He's going to remain straight because he's thinking that he has to lead. So as she's working this horse around, him rounding his rib cage out, no coming in with his nose, soft tail head like that is telling her that he's in a good frame of mind and relaxed. Although he may not be understanding of everything she's asking, he's in a relaxed frame of mind. So she's gonna work him around until she feels like this horse is relaxed and ready to get on. Now, we call this direct and drive. So she, right there, she offered the horse to the left. She brought up some pressure. He stepped off. She gets behind the stirrup a little bit. That's his drive line, which invites forward motion. Get the hindquarters to yield away. Now she's gonna bring the front end through. Apply some pressure, he steps off, and he goes around to the right. Good, Alex. And you might just, there, might just stop him now. Okay. And maybe you could just see if you could back him up. So just step in there and back him up a little bit. He should be soft, willingly. I'd take a hold of both my reins right there. So just take a hold of both of your reins with your thumb down. And just like if you're sitting in the saddle, soon as he lifts the foot, you're going to give a little release there. And again, good. So she's got him to where he's working around in a circle. He's yielding his hind quarters. When she picks up on his reins, He's yielding back softly. He's telling her he's in a pretty good frame of mind to go on with. Now, the groundwork that you're doing, the more you do it on your horses, the less you need to do. So you might have one that's kind of not understanding what you're asking of very much. And you might spend, you might spend five minutes getting him to where he's understanding about how you're asking him to go around. The number's not important. But once he understands what you're asking, you can step in and you can do your groundwork as your horse gets more solid, you're more comfortable with him, he's more comfortable with you. The length of time you need to spend on your groundwork keeps getting, getting shorter and shorter. It, it would get to be where you could pull up your scent, step him ahead, maybe roll his hind quarters over and he's ready to get on because he's telling you all you need to know to tell you that he's safe and he's in a good frame of mind to get on. So we've gone over in our other Cowboy Campus tapes, tons of this stuff about the groundwork that I'm talking about, but. Especially on mornings like this, or it's, it's cold out here, these horses might be feeling a little cold back. It's well worth the time to spend a little bit of time on groundwork, get them prepared, and then, and then get on them. Good.